Sunday's workout is three, two, one, rest. Three rounds for total reps. Three minutes, max calorie row. This is a longer row, so make sure we are taking twice as long on the recovery portion as the drive portion. That means as the handle goes forward, that part should take twice as long as the actual pull. That'll let your legs and uh, lungs recover on the row. Then move right into two minutes, max reps, burpee box jumps. We are gonna stand up all the way on the box on these reps. We're going chest to floor, jump or step the feet up, and then jump and stand on top of the box. After your two minutes, finish with a one minute max calorie assault bike. You'll have a two minute recovery between rounds, so let's really try to push the pace on that last minute on the bike to get as many reps as we can. Sunday's home gym workout will be three rounds for total reps. Three minutes for distance of a single dumbbell farmer's carry. Keep the midline engaged. Don't let yourself lean forward or side to side. Right into a two minute front plank. Our goal is to spend as much of that two minutes in the plank with the hips locked out. Finally, stand up and perform one minute of max reps burpees. Let's really try to push the intensity because there's gonna be a two minute rest after each round. Chest and thighs to the floor, jump and clap with the hips extended and the body vertical at the top of each rep. Sunday's recommended mobility will be a two minute pigeon stretch on each side. Set up with your hands in the push-up position, bring the shin horizontal between your hands. In this position, our goal is to keep the hips and shoulders aligned. We don't wanna lean either way there. So if you're comfortable in this position, you can lower down to the forearms and get deeper into that hip stretch, two minutes per side. Then we'll move to a wall. We'll perform a 30 seconds per side pec stretch on the wall. You have a couple options here. You can do these with an extended arm. Our goal is to get the whole arm, including the shoulder on the wall, or you can bend at the elbow. We wanna have the elbow roughly eye level as we're performing this stretch. 30 seconds per side. Have a great week of training, guys. Thanks for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our channel and have a great week.